Hello guys, in uh, today's video I'll show you how to uh, set up a uh, web app uh, service It's super easy and it's straightforward on the, Under the free net uh, user guides They show you exactly how to set them up So you go to uh, sharing And uh, web apps They show you step by step on how to configure uh, web apps So um, the default URL for web apps is going to be um, HTTP protocol uh, HTTP or HTTPS um, the best security practice is you should uh, set up only HTTPS unless you're in a secure environment you can use HTTP but uh, for this tutorial we'll be setting it uh, under HTTPS so HTTP uh, the default port that uh, they have in uh, web dev is uh, 8080 and 8081 for HTTPS you can use any port that you want but it have to be unused port if you're using um, the port that currently been using by another system or by another uh, applications uh, on your network is going to create some conflict and uh, then it's going to be the share name whatever name that we uh, configure uh, during the configurations setup uh, if you have a DNS at home you can substitute with the, the um, FQDN a uh, fully qualified domain name and the port number and uh, as you see right now, uh, there are uh, warning at the, this time only a web dev user is supported. What it means is right now, uh, you can only log in on web dev um, with the web dev user and uh, whatever the password that you assign to it. Uh, so that's why it's saying is for this reason, it's important to have a good password. It would mean that you should create a strong password for the web dev users. And uh, the issue with is right now at WebDAP not uh, well at least on the FreeNAS 11.42, it's not supporting uh, multiple user. That because due to the underlying restriction of the web server, which is the Apache in this case. Hopefully in the future update, um, we will able to have a multiple user. But at this moment, it's only WebDAP uh, user can log in. And with that, I want to show you how to do it. So first we're going to go to our sharing and we're going to go to uh, web dev share and we're going to add a new one and we're going to call it uh, share try you can name it whatever name that you desire and then we're going to give it the, the patch to the data set that we want I'm just going to give it um, to the, the share try and you have an option to select a read only um, and we're going to keep everything as a default setting we're gonna save it and uh, before we enable the services um, we need to give it uh, permission to the data set too so I'm gonna go to storage and we go to pull and the patch is going through the share drive so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit permission and ask um, web dev group into um, added uh, the permission to give them permission to access the share drive data set all right, uh, so now we have permission for the pool. We're gonna go back to um, the services. Before we start the services, we wanna go to the config, the config, the web app services protocol. Uh, make sure it's on HTTPS only. And then uh, the default HTTPS port is 8081. But like I said, you can, uh, changes to whatever you want but make sure that uh, it's an unused port and do not reuse it web dev SSL certificate we're going to use the um, one that uh, just the self size certificate on the system uh, keep everything at the default configurations and uh, web dev password the default password for um, web dev can be a dev test but make sure that you give it a strong password Save it, and we're gonna enable web dev service. All right, we're gonna go ahead and log in. So the URL gonna be the protocol, which is https and then uh, if you have a DNS, it's gonna be your FQDN. If not, it's gonna be your IP address. 
and then the port number like the default HTTPS that we gave it earlier at 8081 but once again you can use this whatever port unused port that you want and uh, oops and then it's gonna be the share name which is uh, I give it the share dry name earlier and there we go we're able to access this show everything in there and we'll just go ahead and show you what it can do you can open up by text file you can uh, open up um, picture on your web browser it's uh, pretty neat um, can set application um, it's more like web protocol <clears throat> and uh, with that it uh, concluded my uh, tutorial for today guy uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.